I don't know how you think that because if I was to tell you, yeah, I phoned up such and such, like, just to say happy birthday, you'll be wondering why. Why am I calling them after I haven't, I haven't spoken to them for so many years and all of a sudden I'm calling them? What For what reason? Yeah. Would, would you not think that? I don't know, you know, to be honest. I don't... It wasn't a friend that you had every day you were talking to. Yeah. But she's calling you out of the blue because her heel broke and she needs to lift home. Not my man. Call somebody else. Go and call Tyrone. So when I found out I got cheated on and he told me, he came to me and told me, honestly. Gangster. To yeah. me, I was really... What is gangster about that? <laughs>
she's the only woman that I've loved off. Oh, yeah, but even when I okay, when I met Shumi, because she had a boyfriend, but I didn't do anything. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even talk did, to her we were, like we that. Were, no, when we met each other, I just came out of a relationship with that boyfriend. So I was oh, still, so I, was, I did. So I was still no, in, so I was still in contact with him, as in like I was trying to work it out, but we weren't together. Oh, really? Why did I think you I were don't, together? I don't know. I thought you were together. The first, first time I met you at uni. Yeah. And then the, when I next saw you, whether it was the next week or the week after, you had broken up in that gap. Um, That's what I've always thought. You know properly. better than me. No, let me think properly. I think that I think that when we were... Right, maybe we were together. Maybe we were trying to work it out. Maybe I was trying to work it out. Mm. But... Um, we weren't together, together. Okay. We weren't together because basically I just got cheated on. And it was like, it was a massive shock to me. Like massive, massive shock because yeah. I'm like, I never would have thought it would happen. I'm not, I was never insecure. I never asked. I never cared. Like when I was in that relationship, yeah. like I was young and I'm like, I'm just, it was my first relationship, proper relationship ever anyways. And so I never thought. So when I found out I got cheated on, and he told me, he came to me and told me honestly, gangster. To yeah. me, I was real. What is gangster about that? <laughs> That's what everyone's talking about nowadays. Are you everyone? <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, uh, it was a shock to me. Like I really was shocked. I didn't even, I couldn't fathom. Like it's just something that I'd never been through, and it was just like, wow. Like I, I didn't know if it was me or I didn't know. So I was trying to kind of process it and trying to see if I could work through it. But yeah, so I don't know. Maybe we were together, maybe we weren't, but yeah. Yeah. And with me, since you said that, what you're going through, just briefly, mm. I hadn't been in a... When I met Shamika, I hadn't been in a relationship for like nearly two years. And it was like purposeful it, it, is that a word i keep using these yeah, made up yeah, words it is. no purposeful is a word purposeful okay it was i wanted it i said look I'm don't be distracted by women okay yes they look nice there's so many everywhere because i was single i was like i could do what i want really to, that's what i thought without consequence i was young um but i said you know what you get distracted by women Okay, like every man, no man don't try write about nah, 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 nah. write whatever. Everyone gets distracted by whatever they're attracted to. Mm. Yeah, it can be a distraction, and I put it in my head hard. Like, go to uni, like get a job, like find what you want to do. I never ended up continuing with uni, but I just was trying to find what I want to do in life because mm -hmm. I think when I met you I was 20 you say you didn't end two. up continuing. I didn't end up finishing uni fully because you, you had a child yeah yeah but yeah. so that's where I was I when I met like yeah, girls you were 20, or stuff you were 22 you were, 22 you were so that was 10 years ago but like um no it's not it was nine years ago yeah nine and change you're not even 32 yet Okay, but you know what I'm trying to say, innit? Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. It's Sorry. okay. Um, so that's what I really was like. Um, if I meet a girl and stuff, I'm not really trying to, to even like have any sort of friendship or nothing. I want to sort myself out in life. And guess what? I met Shamika and I was like, I like her. She, I like her a lot. Yeah? And I made the right I, choice. I didn't know at the time. Because but. imagine it, I don't know how my life would be if when I met Shamika, I was stubborn and I was like, I like her, but... And it happened other times, I would guess, like, I probably met someone, oh, they're nice, could talk. But then I was like, no, get on with... You know, I really wanted to sort myself out, but thank Jesus, like, when I met Shamika, I proceeded and got my reward so yeah like that's what we're going to talk about because we're going to talk about you know appropriate 
relationships with opposite sex. Because now I'm going to tell you the beginning, right? In the beginning, I met Shamika. We got along. We started to court. What, when I was in a relationship? No, not straight away. After a few weeks, we spoke, speaking more, started to when meet When did we up. meet? Because this is just, you think we met in, I think we met in October, early October. Yes, I think so too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we met we didn't start. Weeks. We didn't start going out or courting until December. We didn't even court. We basically started seeing each other kind of in December. But what I'm saying is once, okay, you have to look back on it with, um, like knowing what's happened because you, you know why listen. I want to say that. Do you know why I want to say that? Because I want to make sure, yeah, that everybody knows that there was no doubling up. Oh, I was, is that not, what you're I was not in a relationship with one person, and then I had this person. No, it never All right. happened. Yes, this relationship had completely finished before I moved anywhere. There was no double. Nothing. I get where you're coming from. Okay. And you know what? It's good that you it's said important. that. It's important. Because you know what the thing is? Like I said, the way my mind works, I wouldn't even think about that because I know what the truth was. But the people out there listening and watching, they don't know. Mm. But Shamika had have, broken every up. Every time we have that conversation, I say that to you every single time. I'm like, no. Because I remember. I remember. So, yeah. Yeah. She had broken up. And you know what else? It's not just from her side. It's from my side too. If I would have known she was in a relationship, I would not have. You didn't. Con- you, you didn't pursue me or anything when I was in a relationship. Yeah, but that's what I'm just trying to say from my side okay, as well. Yeah. We both had the same mindset. I wouldn't go after someone who's in a relationship, relationship okay. and you wouldn't have gone looking for nobody. someone no. unless you had. You were not unless you were single. Mm-hmm. So we got that out of the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, once we were like courting and stuff, and we're getting on. Yeah, it was nice, meet up, stuff, da da da, like each other more and more and more. We started to go to church and stuff together. Yeah, I invited Issa to church. Invited yeah. me to church. I liked it. It was all right. I thought this is nice. Um, and also, I got to go with you in that kind of environment, which I wasn't really used to. That was really nice. Um, but. And my ex. Yeah, and, and your he, ex. So that's was, what I'm getting to. he was going to the church as well. He was going to the same church. They were starting going to, to that church we together. Started, we first started going to that church. Like, as in me and him. Yeah. Started going to that church. And... and <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? Because we started going to that church because I found out that he cheated on me. Okay. I like we. I just thought no. We just decided started going church, in it to try and, and just like I just want. I just felt like I don't know what happened, but there was something at that time that I, I cut my hair off. Everything I just went a bit like. What's that film? <sighs> set set it off. Set it off. You went set it no, off. Yeah. But yeah, I went Queen started Latifah going to church, and then. and then that relationship was no longer like it was like like I tried to work through it. And I realised, okay, do you know what? I cannot forgive this person. I don't know if this person would cheat on me again. This is something that I never thought that would, they would do. Like, why? Like, I just, I just said no. I, I can't do it. Mm. So that was it. That was that. Like, and don't get me wrong. I ended the relationship. I still, I still had love for that person. I still loved that person. But there was. You know when you stay in a relationship but and you feel like you're always thinking of the thing that they did? That's how it was for me. So I knew I couldn't be in a relationship anymore. Mm. And then... Bars. I, then I start, when I started talking to Issa, very very quickly that I started to actually like him, considering I'd just come out of a relationship, but it is what it is. That is the truth. And so and I said, yeah, do you want to come to church? At first he he was like, oh yeah, I don't know if I believe in God, this, that and the other. And I started talking to him more about, you know, yeah. I think I won a soul. I won a soul <laughs> before my soul was fully won, <laughs> innit? But yeah, but and then I, and then you started coming to, ch- to the church and it was a bit awkward for me. Oh, because you had your ex there Because well. he was there and I still talked to him. I didn't like, like ignore him. I still talked to him because... Even though that happened, he cheated on me. I still, like, cared for him a lot. I know it was a mistake he made, 
So therefore, I, I, maybe I, I couldn't be in a relationship with him because of that mistake. Mm. But still, that didn't take away from the person he was. He wasn't a bad person. Like, so therefore, I still spoke to him and stuff. Mm. But then you would be on this side if I was speaking to him. And I could tell it may, kind of made you feel uncomfortable as well. So it was like, it was a bit awkward, but at first, that's how it was. Yeah. So that's how it was. There you go. And so I, think it was awkward. Just... I think it was awkward for the ex as well, because like, like my girls with some my my girls with somebody else is like, like, and to me, I didn't feel did I feel guilty? I felt bad for the ex feeling that way because I felt like oh, you know, there's somebody here, but at the same time, you're the one I, not in a bad way, but I felt like you're the one who cheated, so you lost me. I'm not going to... Uh, I still have to come to church. And if I feel that I like this person, I'm going to invite them to church. So he's going to come to church. And, you know, it yeah. is what it is. not like something I'd been through before, but, you know, it, it, when I think about it, it, it was a bit insensitive, but there's nothing I could do about it because I was still going to go to church, you know? Yeah. And it so, was a while after. It was a while after that we started going to church that we were broken We were broken up for, like, not many... Not many like a couple of months or something, but we were properly broken up for about a month before you actually started coming to the church. Okay, so all that's a bit blurry f- yeah. from my side because I just liked Shamika, so I didn't know about the ins and outs of her ex and whatever. Yeah. But even that is a good point. So obviously you just broken up with your ex and I used to think that I was... Just, um, I had self-confidence. I had confidence in myself and stuff. But I remember there were situations when I'd be like, why is she still talking to her ex? (laughs) But not in a way like jealousy, but in a way of like, what, 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 what's like, she's not with him. So like, cheated on her, what's she talking to him for? Not even that, but it was more like, I've never encountered that i've never been around that or i've never even really known someone that had been like my kind of age that had been in a long-term relationship mm. i never had long long relationships like that mm. and also i'm a guy and should i tell them how long for yeah go on. i was for four years that's yeah. long term for me because that's like from from 19 yeah 19 to 23 yeah yeah so and it would be a i would be like like what what's i don't get it like okay and i have to so say now like i trusted shamika all the way because when you get to know shamika you will know why but she's very trustworthy even from the beginning i knew that that's what i liked about her but even like with the what shamika said being at church Mm. and you're talking to him and i might be like somewhere else but I, it's not like I'm watching, but it's like I know you're talking to him, and you would make an effort, go and say hi yeah, and I stuff. Because well, it's want not him to feel like me. I felt a bit like I'm. I don't want anybody to. Feel, I didn't want him to feel bad. Like I didn't want anyone to feel like I. I was even thinking. I wonder what people are thinking about me. Like I came with this guy, now I've come with this guy. Yeah, they might have been thinking. But, but, wow. But I knew in myself that I hadn't done anything wrong. Like I hadn't done anything. I'm, I know I wasn't a hoe. I know nobody could ever, like, he couldn't say I was a hoe and he couldn't say I'm a hoe. And whatever everybody else thought, no, because you like, you you come with one guy and then a few months after you're here with another guy, it's like, but I didn't really care because it wasn't that, you get me? Mm. And and me going and talking to one or the other, I didn't really care what anybody thought. I just thought like, I could, I, I know this person, I've been with them for four years. I know what they would feel like. Like I'm not like I'm not gonna like just shut that person out. I'm gonna go and talk to him. Yeah, and you know what? It was good. I actually thought, you know, that's good. She she still has a relationship with her ex. That's a good sign. Like a cordial relationship. Like obviously her ex respects her. Mm. I remember thinking that, and it is good. Any any man, if you have sense, you will think, okay, like she was with this. My partner was used to be with this person, but this person has so much respect for her. So long as they don't try anything, mm. that's a good sign, isn't it? So that was like the first kind of 
situation in our relationship where it's like, oh, someone from the opposite sex. And I think even a few times, like one time I was at work and he had to come and get some stuff mm. from the house, innit? And you sat me down properly, Issa. This is what's like, he has to come and get his stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, he, do, he can come when you're here. Like, it's up to you. you like, let's figure this out. That. You don't remember it. Mm. But basically, I, I trusted you. So I was like, yeah, let him come. Like, let me come get his stuff. I'll be at work and whatever. If any... You didn't live with me, though. No, I didn't live with you, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, not officially, but I used to, we, I used to be over there at yours a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I used to leave from yours to go to work and mm. come back to yours. Sometimes I might go back to my mum's because I was proper mummy's boy. Um, so, yeah. But I trusted you in it because I knew from how you were, you're the same to this day as well. It was like, there's nothing to even think, worry about. So that was like the first kind of thing. And obviously we had like going to church and going to like church functions. And I think after a while, something has to give in it. it. The way that was, it couldn't stay that way. And what gave, from what I remember... Was that your partner just like, did he stop coming to the church or? No. But how did this subject turn on to like me? I thought you were talking about appropriate contact. No, but this is all about There was no contact. contact. There was no contact though. No, but and I it... mean talking to like how okay. you had, you would still talk. I feel like I'm on the, on the spot here, like talking about past things. I'm bringing... No, we're going to get into I'm, me as well. There's a lot to do with me. I'm that, somebody that, that will know I'm talking about them. It's like, I, mm, it's not. Oh, you don't feel comfortable? No, like, we're here now, but it's just like, you just put me on the spot, basically. Okay, well, basically... You, you didn't tell... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address it, but I'm going to tell you how I honestly feel. I'm going to tell them how I honestly feel. Yeah. This is what this is all about. You put me on the spot. You didn't tell me that this is what we, the discussion... I didn't know he was going to go into this, my past and stuff. I didn't okay. know. You didn't say that to me. Okay, That's should I have I'm said saying. to you? Yes, you should have told me. Yeah. <laughs> of course, okay. you should have told me. We're going to go into me but, the same way. So if 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 it's that, then let me say it myself, innit? Yeah. So therefore, so then, there were like, we had a function, yeah? We had a function. But before this even happened, yeah? Nobody stopped going to church, yeah? Like, you felt uncomfortable when I was talking to him. And I asked you... And you was like, oh, no, no. But I could tell you was uncomfortable. When I realised you was uncomfortable, I took a step back from talking to him so much. Because it's like, that's over. Who am I going to choose? The person that I'm with now. So I chose to be more respectful of you. This is this is way down the line, though. This is like... A few months. This was... This was I must have been pregnant by these times. I must have been because that function that we went to, your mum came as well. Yes. I don't think I knew your mum before I was pregnant. So, this was way down the line. So, we have been, been going to church for a while. You two still going to the church and me, you know, but I was with you now, yeah? Mm. But when I realised that you started feeling uncomfortable, I did take a step back because at the end of the day, it's only respectful to do that, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you, and you didn't tell me to take a step back. You didn't say anything, but I could see. And I asked you and you was like, oh, no. But you said, you, you didn't say no, but you didn't say, yeah. And, but, but I made the choice because I could see, you get me? And it was like, who was more important to me? Then we went to an um, event at a different church and he was there. I don't know if said the name. I don't want to say no one's name. He was there and I walked in with you and your mum. And then when I realised he left, as soon as he saw me and you and whatever, he left. So... I could tell that that was like, he couldn't see me with somebody else. Okay. It was still quite raw, it was still quite sore, still quite yeah, raw yeah, because, for him, so he you left. Know, things happen and stuff. But anyway, listen, I'm not saying this to put me on the spot because this wouldn't even go out if... Anyone gets no, uncomfortable. No, I didn't mean like that. But you, I'm just saying you put me on the spot because I didn't know yeah. you were going to talk about that. Yeah, I'm not yeah. That you purposely did. Yeah, it you say anything. like, oh, like, okay, like we have to, have to like get into it in front of camera. I get what you're saying. Hmm. Um, so that's what had to give for that relationship to kind of subside. You, out of your own 
uh, like sense knew what to do. Well, at the end of the day, if you choose to be with somebody, you have to respect the person that you are with. Even though I have respect for the person that I was with, that person lost me through their own self. And if that person didn't make the choices they made, me there would be no me and Issa. There would have been no me and Issa. Yeah. So therefore, that relationship ended as a, as a result of that person's actions. I was not. I, I I tried to continue into that relationship, but I could not continue in a relationship where all I could think about was, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? Like, yeah. you know. So yeah. as I ended the relationship, like if I could have, I would have tried to keep the friendship, but I don't think it would have been. I think because love was still there on on both our sides, but. M- but I had made a choice. So when I made my choice, that was it. But I still love the person. You don't just cut off love like that. You get me? Mm. But I know that the love was still there on that person's part side as well. I just felt like it wasn't right to, um, to, 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 you couldn't have, you can't have a relationship with somebody that still, that you know likes you. You can't really it's not fair but it's not fair it's not fair it's not fair to me it's not fair to him it's not fair to the other to the person that you're with so i had to make the choice to be like you know what i need to be respectful with the person of the person that i'm with now like i can't i don't want him to feel uncomfortable so he what your feelings came on top of anybody else's at that stage so but like what i'm trying to get to is like you had the sense you knew that you had to do what you did Mm -hmm. and you did it without me having to like, without us having to argue or any of that stuff, yeah? So like the time goes on, things go on and like there'll be other situations where now it's on me, like so say it's it's me now, yeah? So I put myself on the spot kind of. But if if there was like, Ladies, what's the right word? Ladies, women. What situations were you in? Oh, like, oh, someone's calling me, like someone that I used to know mm. that used to like me or I used to like them and they're calling me and I'm, I'm talking to them. Somebody that you had physical contact with. Like yeah. Sexual contact with. Yeah. In the past. And like, you it's done. Clear, yeah. yeah, it's done now. And like, before I met you, I was just friends with them. I would never... Mm. do anything talk to them hey what's up because the way i am when I, when something's done for me it's done mm. and then but then like they might you know they don't you don't call up someone who is just like kind of your friend mm. and be like oh i'm in a relationship now so and because you're of the opposite sex and we've done stuff in the past <laughs> we can't talk no more. I, don't call me again it's you know, it's not like that is it no yeah, so you have to deal with it in the right way, and if you shouldn't always have to be told like, you shouldn't have to be like, "Isa, this is what you have to do, and do this and do this and do this," isn't it? Mm. But unfortunately, it's not like that. So I've learned. Yeah, but you have to say some sort of incident that happened. Then I don't like. Oh, I can remember an incident that happened go, where go. somebody phoned you up and said that their hill broke. Can you come and pick them up? And you was going to go. Yes. <laughs> you Perfect. Was go- he was going to go. He's going to go and leave his pregnant girlfriend to go and pick up a now friend who broke their heel and needed help getting home. But that friend you had had sexual contact with in the past. Do you past. know what? With that, I maybe at first I was like, okay, yeah. I don't remember saying like, "Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna pick you up." I remember. Oh, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm jumping yeah. the gun there. Let, let, yeah. let me, cause I f- I might have at first said, "Oh, like where are you?" But I remember thinking, "You can't. It's like you can't get up and just get up and go and like, pick this person I, up." I, I, all I remember is thinking, "Why does she expect you to come and pick her up if she's broke her heel?" Hobble home. <laughs> Get on the <laughs> hobble, hobble home. home like. But yeah, like, I, from from what I could remember, I was just like, oh yeah, what's up, blah, blah, blah. Then in the end, it was like, okay, well, wherever you are, I'll call you a cab or something. Because... You was going to call her a cab? Something like that. Like, you know, oh, okay. if you don't have money or whatever, I'll call you a cab, you give me the money another time. But 
even the way that situation was handled, mm. it wasn't handled in the right way. Because if I would have done that situation properly, mm. it wouldn't... Like, it can be cut off there. That's a good way to cut something off, isn't it? it do you know what? It, it, well, I think it was handled fine. Because you didn't go. In the that's end, all, yeah. That's all that, that's all that matter. And, and, I, and I hope you didn't call a cab, because you shouldn't have. Cause no, that, I didn't. The, the way to cut off a situation is to be like, I can't help you. Like, at the end of the day, I can understand if you were single and she called you because you were friends like that. Mm. I don't know. But if you're, like, if you're in a relationship, to me, if you have been sexual with somebody and they're calling you to pick them up, yeah, then no. That, she's trying to finesse you. Isn't it? Like, um, no. <laughs> what's the hindsight? It's a, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah, because you me, can look back. I, because knowing myself, I'm, I'm going to have respect... Like I'm gonna have respect for that other person for the other person and me. I just wouldn't call I just would not call and say, Can you give me a lift? That makes no sense. Yeah, and thinking back on it now, like hindsight is great because I'm think now looking back on it, mm. I could be like, that was a perfect chance to be like, you know, I'm with someone now, so um, I can't really help you in that kind of a she way. She knew you was in a relationship. Oh, I can't even remember properly, I just, but I remember all that All I know call. is that you were very naive about certain, certain That's things. That's the perfect word, you just, you just naive. Thought, you just thought, oh, yeah, it's just, it's just a friend, you know. Because nothing happened between you for a while because you weren't doing anything with anybody, yeah. you just thought, okay, well, you know. But no, when somebody calls you out of the blue, it's not like a every... It wasn't a friend that you had every day you were talking to. Yeah. But she's calling you out of the blue... Because her heel broke and she needs to lift home. Not my man. Call somebody else. Go and call Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that was that situation. Mm. And it was naivety. Because, you know, like with me, I have so much respect for women. So, it's like I will try and help. And that can easily be taken advantage of. Isn't it? Mm. That's not hard. Especially if you've got... I don't know what the person's motives were. Mm. But if they did have bad motives... They could have used that situation. Mm. Thank God nothing happened. But even going on further into the relationship, I remember my ex, right, where after like a few years of not being together, um, her birthday was like a few days after my birthday. So on the way to work, I remembered and I was like, oh, let me call her and say happy birthday. So I called her and I said, oh, happy birthday. You know, it's going to say happy birthday, really. And she was acting weird mm. on the phone. And then I said, all right, then, well, yeah, bye. And then I thought, oh, she was acting weird. But she was probably acting weird because I called her. Exactly. Exactly. And then, so I just thought, well, what's that? And then when I went home, I spoke to Shamika. And Shamika basically said to me. Why are you off? calling her? Why? Why did you, you know, what? what's the need for that? Even though I don't remember that happening, but I know that I would have been like, why are you, call, why are you calling somebody? Like, yeah. why? You haven't spoken to them for so many years and then all of a sudden you just call them to say happy birthday. Why? Exactly. So, like, that's what I was saying about hindsight. When you look back on it, and when I, when I look back on it, it's like, that was just pointless. So, I think with men... Actually, on this one, I'm not even going to relate it to men because I wouldn't even know. But with me, it's like sometimes I, I feel like anything that I do is the right thing. Do you know what I mean? So, but at the end of the day, it's but, not. But it is, I don't know how you think that because if I was to tell you, yeah, I phoned up such and such, like... Just to say happy birthday, you'll be wondering why. Why am I calling them after I haven't, I haven't spoken to them for so many years, and all of a sudden I'm calling them? What for? What reason? Yeah. Would, would you not think that? I don't know. You know, to be honest, I know you're gonna be like that. So like you're not being truthful. You would not like me to call that person and tell them happy birthday or say anything to them. You would not like it. Yeah, I'll be there, like, I'll things... be thinking, what? Like, what's the been speaking to them for so long? It's true. You would. You, you've said things that in, in the past that you wouldn't mind, but then when it comes to it, you're like, oh, like, you don't like it. You really don't like it. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't mean that you... It, 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 look, it doesn't mean that you're being jealous or being... But you're just like... 
don't open the door. Why, why are you inviting that back in? Like, I'm here. Don't invite other people back in. Like, it's, it's, I think you're like that because there was sex involved. If you was in a relationship, a sexual relationship with somebody, then no, you can't really open that door again because you never know what could happen. That's what I think that your thoughts are on it. That That is my thoughts on it. And you know, when when I look back on these situations... I regret it. I'm like, what? If I didn't do that, there would be a lot less. Like, I wouldn't have had to go through it. Because those kind of situations, they're not, they're uncomfortable, innit? Because you have to think about certain things. You have to talk about things. And it's not the most comfortable thing. Although, you learn from it. If you don't learn from it, then you lose out, innit? Mm -hmm. So, you good? Yeah. Yeah? (laughs) You had your... Nice little break. You had your nice food, yeah. So I, I see you rubbing your belly. That's why. What? Okay, getting blanked. Um. So yeah, man, we go through these situations. And one time you told it. me, oh, um, such and such called you because they want to meet up with you. And I'm like, meet up with you for what? And you was like, just to. Like, you think it's to apologise. You told... I remember, it was years ago. It was years and years ago. Years and years ago. Because it was, like, towards... More towards the beginning of our relationship. Not the beginning, but maybe the first few years. Mm. One, two, three years. Yeah. And you said that that person wanted to meet up with you to, like, discuss how things ended and, like, want to say sorry because they listened to their friends and whatever, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, what for? It's weird, yeah. Like, what, why? Like, because you was thinking about going. I'm like, what for? What, where, why are you going there? For what? Yeah. Why does somebody need to? It just made, it, like, to me, it makes sense that they want to do it, but you shouldn't entertain it because you're in a new relationship and whatever, whatever. So, you know, they had time to come and talk to you before. Don't try and talk to the person now that they're in a relationship. No, it's disrespectful. It is. And for even entertaining, that it's it's good, it's a good thing when you have a good partner, a strong partner, because then you're forced to think about these kind of things. You're forced to like have to talk about it. It's not just like you just go or you don't go. You actually talk about it and deal with it. Yeah. Otherwise, later on, it can cause. Well, you just might not be together and that could be the person you're supposed to be with and you end up not being with them and thinking about, oh, if I would have stayed with this person for the rest of your life. And the one person who I know who was like that and is still a bit like that is my dad. I speak to my dad every now and then. My relationship with my dad is built up, but I don't want to be like my dad. If I'm, I don't want to be like him, the life that he lived. He's good in some ways, like most people, but with relationships and stuff, women, different women, I don't know the full stories, but still different women, obviously that makes your life harder and your family is fragmented. You've got some children here, some children here. All children are a blessing, but I can't imagine having some children here, some children here, some children there. Have Getting them all together must be hard. Like I'm so happy... I'm always with my kids. I've got my kids here. They're all with one person and I can focus properly. But um, yeah, you know, it's a great thing that I have Shamika and Shamika's like a strong woman. She, her being like behind me, it means that I've got proper backup because there's times when I don't know what's going on and Shamika's the one that has to be like, it's a, this is like a trap or you have to be careful. It's not right. And I'll be like, not with even relationships, with anything. Like someone that we might meet, some opportunity that comes up. Shamika will be warning me. In the end, she's right. And I'm like, thinking to myself, and even telling her, thank you. Because I'm talking sometimes years later. Babe, remember like years back you said this thing? Look, yeah, because obviously, true. like, we are, I'm me and you are you, but we're in a relationship and we have 
become one realistically mm. we're married so whatever you do if you do something and it affects you whatever it doesn't just affect you it affects me as well yeah like so you cannot i cannot just watch you go through something and be like oh well he's gonna have to suffer because he decided to do it because he's not going to be the only person to suffer i'm the one who's going to suffer as well and it's like if i if i see something even i could be wrong but if i think that there's something that i can see i'm gonna say it because there's no way like anybody's gonna come and hurt anybody in my family and I just sit back and be like, well, it was his choice to make, so he made it. Yes, I, I like, it's, it is your choice to make, mm. but I still have to say something. Whether he listens or not, that's up, that's down to him. But if I, like, if I see something, I have to say it. That's so. right. And it's good to be like and that. There's, and you know why I think of certain things, like, oh, if somebody calls you or some, somebody like contacts you from your past mm -hmm. why you shouldn't get involved because i see it like that because i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it out of respect to you yeah. not because i can't stand this person i don't have any grudges against anyone i don't have many um relationships before it's i have one one relationship before it's a that's it yeah and it was a long time and you know it's how i learned about being in a relationship i didn't learn everything but that's how I knew. I learned a lot more when I got with Issa because it was different, you know? Like, different, but better. And it's been, our relationship's much longer anyways. Our, election, mm. well, our relationship's going to be forever, but yeah. But um, there's certain things that I would not do because I could have contacted um, my ex in, in the past, like when he's contacted me to say happy birthday or anything. I never did. Not because I didn't care about that person, but out of respect to my husband, who I love more than anybody. So mm. if I love you more than anybody, more than anybody, no matter how much I care for somebody else, I can't go there. So Yeah. And even, you know, because we, we mentioned before about like having physical relations, yeah, with people, that's a strong bond like yeah. once you have a physical relationship with someone you've crossed a certain threshold i don't think it ever i don't i, I don't think it ever goes away yeah it doesn't because, because it I've happened 10 <laughs> me and this has been together for 10 almost 10 years and i still care for that person i still because the person that that person was was a good person, had a good heart. I knew the things that they had gone through and things like that. It was a good person. So I still care for that person. So, and I think that's because of the bond that we had when we were together. Mm. And I, after 10 years, that hasn't died. Even though I haven't spoken to that person for probably about nine years, I haven't spoken to that person at all. If I did speak to them, it would have been in that one year it would have been maybe on facebook or something yeah. but i haven't spoken to that person for years all these years i haven't spoken to that person had any contact or anything but i still have that connection you know and yeah. that's just that's just i don't know i don't know if they, i don't know if it will ever go or whatever but it's a serious thing man serious like some people say oh yeah it's you know it's not a serious thing or whatever boy i don't know i don't know that's them yeah. Like, I don't know what happened, why that's how they view things or whatever. But to me, it's a very big thing to you be see, con connected to somebody in a sexual way. It to me, like you, like you, 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 you everything. That's the that's connected. Look, like that is, that is literal any, connection. Yeah, it's connection. You can have any kind of relationship with someone. Okay. With your brother and sister, you love them. With your mum and dad, you love them. There's certain people, when you have physical relationships with them, that's, you could, like, you see, like, I love my mum, I love my sister, I love, I love my grandma when she was alive. There's things that I, I, couldn't, I could never do with them, but there's... And there's if it's another sexual woman, relationship. I don't want to keep, because I don't no, know if kids will listen or whatever, but... People that are watching, they know yeah. what I'm, I mean. You know what I mean. I just don't want to keep saying the word because otherwise I'll keep saying it, saying it. That's just how I am because I'm putting this out. I don't know who's going to really listen. 
But um, but and you know what? I think kids like if if I if Israel heard me talking about sexual relations, he's eight years old. This, that's but true. You know but what? that's Israel. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Then the, you know, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say sexual relationship. No, I'm not saying don't you, say but, it. But you know why? Let me explain why. Because if Israel says, "Oh, mommy," you're... he knows what sexual relations is. But I, I want him to be able to learn from it. It's true. You can't just when he's older. I don't want him to think that it's okay to just because the world will tell you it's okay to just sleep. You know, you're young. Go and spread your oats. No, because you may like have have that feeling for that person that won't go away. Okay. With the f- me saying physical, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Israel is our child. Mm. We tell Israel stuff that most parents might hear and think, I can't believe they're talking to their kid about that. You, if you, if I'm not saying to don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> you can say it. There's nothing wrong with that word. There's nothing wrong with that word. Yeah? <laughs> I just don't want to say it because I don't know who may listen to this and hear that and get the wrong idea. But the main thing is, people know what I'm... I might have even said it without knowing, but people who listen, they know what I mean. I'm just like that. In it, babe? I don't just really... Just in case they, they, they came into it when you said were saying physical, I wanted to make sure, you know, because there's a difference between physical relationship and sexual relationship. There's a difference. Okay, but to me, when I say physical, I'm even talking about kissing as well. Watch if you kiss someone, but obviously... When you go further than that, it's when, you know, you have sexual relations. That's what I'm talking about when I say physical. Um, it's a big thing. Like, look at what Shamika just said. Shamika has talked to me, told me that she she still, like, cares for that person. And we've talked about it in depth. She just explained what she meant. I don't care about whoever else I was with. I don't know whether... I, I would guess, if I had to... That the way that men and women think about past relationships are different. If I had to guess. But I don't like to put people in boxes by their gender. But remember your relationship was a lot shorter as well. Yeah, it was a lot so shorter. So it could be that as well. It, it could be that. But the way that I am, even if it was more. if I, I, You it, don't it know. Wasn't, you don't know. No, it wasn't.